Well, it has been very windy here lately. Actually had a top blow out of a maple tree uh, across the driveway from the livestock barn. It's the same, same tree, one of the same trees that actually had a limb blow out of it last year. So uh, I need to get that cleaned up. I got several other things I need to do today. So um, the first thing I need to do before I can cut that tree up is that the Husqvarna chainsaw has a broken clutch in it. So we're gonna fix, put new clutch springs in that real quick and then we're gonna go out and cut up that limb and move on to something else. Yep, there. There, it broke into. But I'm gonna go ahead and replace both of them. So there's two new ones in here, which is not probably gonna be the easiest thing to do. Let's go ahead and take the chain off and the bar off, get that out of the way. I brought my gloves, but I forgot to put them on. I'll tell you what, it's too hot to be wearing all this stuff. Oh, it's hot out here.
pretty bad when you got weeds big enough you can use a chainsaw on them. Now I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to cut this in to firewood and put it over by our campfire. Well, it's raining, and I really can't leave the camera in the rain, so we're gonna stop for a little bit, come back when it stops. Well, I think the rain shower's about done, I think. Just a short little shower, just a bunch of scattered rain today. It's been going back and forth from cloudy to sunny, and I wouldn't mind a little bit of cloudy. It's pretty hot out here. And the rain, whoo, the rain actually felt pretty refreshing, to be honest with you, it actually felt pretty good. Uh, but I couldn't just stay out there and let the camera get wet. So I think it's pretty much, uh, I think it's about done. But while we're standing here in the barn, I did get the friction plates for the slip clutch here on the baler. And uh, hopefully soon we'll take this back apart, put the uh, friction discs in there, and then we'll do what they call a burn in. You'll actually kick the PTO on and you'll let it spin. Uh, the discs a little bit to burn those in and polish the surface up and uh, hopefully we'll be doing that here pretty soon and get this back in working order. Well it looks like the clouds are passed by so we'll go back to cutting wood.
So I'm done cleaning up the, the tree that uh, the wind blew the top out of it and I ended up making another mess right here. So I guess I'll try to pick up this vines and all this stuff. I really don't want to, to be honest with you. There's probably some poison ivy mixed in there. I'm not really allergic to poison ivy and poison oak, but Rebecca is and she will get it off of my clothing. So I'll, I will have to probably put all my clothes in the washer myself today to make sure she don't handle them. But uh, I may just leave that there. I'd rather just go over it with a brush hog and just chop that up with a brush hog. It'd be way easier. I can just let that sit until I get the mower on the tractor. Now, uh, while well, you guys are watching this today, you're probably seeing me carry all that brush over there. The brush pile wasn't, the burn pile wasn't too far away. Um, but you're probably wondering why I don't use a tractor. I still don't have a grapple. I ordered a grapple. It's been on order for six weeks now and uh, still waiting for it. So, um, seems like everything's been a long lead time about anything you order anymore, it seems like. So, uh, we'll just have to wait and see. There's no, I, I have no idea when I'm gonna, when it's gonna finally show up. But eventually we will have a grapple here and it will make picking up all that brush and stuff a lot easier. At least I hope so. So, uh, let's go ahead and put our tools away and move on to the next job. Catching up. All right, we're gonna stop and check out the turkeys. Got a little something to do here. So I still got seven turkeys here in the chicken tractor. You can see them or not. But what I did end up doing is I did end up putting a roost in here for them. It ended up being a little bit long. I had to put it in there at an angle. So they only end up sitting on that far side. It's too close to the chicken wire on this side. So I'm gonna to try to straighten that up. And then I've also got other pieces cut and we're gonna to try to put some roosts up in the front corners real quick and give them a couple of other places where they can roost at night. Hey turkeys. So if you look at the turkeys, you can tell that there's three small ones and then there's four big ones. So there's four uh, broad-breasted whites, which are meat turkeys. And then there is three heritage breeds, which are the smaller ones. They're Royal Palm. So not sure what we're gonna do with the Royal Palm, but they're more of a breed that you would just keep all the time. And there's another roost for them. And another roost. So we're just gonna shorten this long roost a little bit. That ought to do it. All right. Now the roost is a lot more even. I'm gonna go out the door and I don't want you trying to sneak out. Okay. Get you big old turkeys. I don't remember if I showed this or not, but I did end up getting wheels for the chicken tractor. I had a few commenters say that I need to go to Harbor Freight, that they had a lot of wheels. And that's where I ended up getting these. I bet you they had they had like 30 different types of wheels, quite a few at least. And uh, that's what I ended up doing, putting seven and a, I think they're seven and a half inch wheels on the back. Works out pretty good, moves a lot easier now.
So the four-wheeler is my father-in-law's four-wheeler. He lets us borrow that every summer. We've had that for probably the last three or four years. Um, Got to borrow it during the summer. Comes in really handy. Eventually we will end up buying a side-by-side -side or a four-wheeler at some point in time. But for right now, at least we got this to use. So a couple days ago, we ended up harvesting the rest of the onions that we had overwintered in the garden. And then also our garlic, which we planted last fall, it overwintered as well. And you can see all the heads of garlic. I think I should have just sprayed these off um, with a hose first instead of letting them dry with the dirt on them like I did. But uh, we let these go a little bit too long. So some of them didn't want to pull. They wanted to break off at the stems. So there's still a few heads of garlic that are actually in the ground that I'll have to dig up. But right now, it is just way too sunny out there to do anything in the garden. So we'll find something else to do. Well, I went inside, got something to drink, and then I got me thinking. I probably ought to go check all the animals' water and make sure that they're all good. Probably ought to make sure the pigs have a wallow, make sure their wallow's filled with water so the pigs can cool down. So let's go, uh, let's go check on the livestock real quick. this in the shade well it looks like the the steers got plenty of water we're just gonna turn on the hose that goes over to the pigs that's how you stretch out a fence rubbing on my fence yep stretch it out bow my fence out I see how you are you don't care, do you? Time to go to the pigs. We want to plug their charger. I hear pigs. How are you guys doing? We got mud on you. You must have some cool you guys down you guys must have some uh, mud still if you got mud on you Woo. don't you oh you're you're all covered in mud don't rub on me you're very muddy you're very muddy you're gonna you're gonna drink out of the puddle when there's like fresh water right there. All right, so that's our girl pig right there. She's always been the pushy one. She's always been a little bit bigger. And then that's the boy pig. And you can still tell barely that his back's just got a little bit of a hump in it because he had uh, got stepped on as a baby. And uh, they're doing pretty good. I think they're looking good. Um, I can hear thunder in the background. It's about to rain again. So uh, Randy helped me get these pigs. He helped me last year get pigs. He ended up picking these up for me this year. So I don't think I ever got a chance to thank Randy for, for helping me out and picking up the pigs. So I do appreciate that. These pigs are very, I don't know, they've been very friendly, nice pigs, very docile. Well, that's going to take a little while to fill up, so let's walk through here. They've only really seemed to like under these trees where it's shady. If you walk back here, under these trees, you can tell it's definitely cleared out. And they've got trails that go through here, and it's uh, it looks pretty good under the trees. now. Where it's not under the trees, it is just thick, tall brush still. Haven't done a ton of rooting. Uh, they have on this back corner, it looks like. But this is pretty tall stuff. You can tell there's another trail that they made. And just back here on this back corner, this is the same spot the last pigs we had tried to root. And they've rooted it up more than the last pigs. But really, this is probably one of the old, only real spots 
that they've really rooted up. Other than that, it's just a few trails and it's clear under these trees. Walk through here. Yeah, you get under these trees and it's nice and nice and uh, cleared out. Pretty comfortable little spot they got here in the shade. Yeah, so this ends up being like a perfect place for the pigs. There's a there's a lot of thick brush, but overall, um, probably, you know, it's kind of sunny on this other side, but overall, there's over 50% of it's all shade, you know, so it's good for the pigs to have a place to be able to get out of the sun and stay cool. So this is their wallow, and it just looks like a bunch of thick mud right now, so we'll probably fill this up with water as soon as, uh, as soon as we get done filling up their water tank. And then the hog hooch, old hog hooch, probably from the 1970s, 60s, I don't know, maybe 50s. <laughs> but uh, that's what they use. This is their home, this little hooch. You can tell it's been here long enough that actually a tree has grown up and that tree looks like it's at least 30 years old, you know? So, I mean, this has been here for a long time. And this has worked out pretty good for this water tank too because it ends up being mostly shaded most of the day. So I haven't had much problem with any algae or anything growing in this tank. So that's worked out real good. So we'll go ahead and let this wallow fill up so they got somewhere to cool down. So my water bill ends up being pretty expensive in the summertime. So it ended up being $99 this last month, which is one of the highest bills I've ever had really. And um, that's from filling up the animals water every night, filling up these pigs wallow and then watering the garden. Um, still don't have my drip irrigation going yet. I'm using a, a sprinkler, so that uses up quite a bit of water. And um, yeah, and my water bills are very expensive in the summertime. So uh, we do have a well. There's an old well that's down this hill back here. And I was really hoping next year to maybe to get the power ran out to the well and then start running water lines all over the property. And then that way I, I can at least, at least use well water to do um, all of the animals and then maybe even the garden. And I think we'll be a lot better off, uh, save ourselves a lot of money over time if we can get that well working. Hey, don't chew on the hose, that's a no-no. You cannot chew on the hose, okay? No chewing on the hose. You need a bath. Oh my God, you just splashed me with water, uh, with mud. Man. <laughs> uh. All right, I think that's full enough. I'm gonna go turn your water off. So Scout here has been our trouble child for a long time. And it's probably been, heck, it may be like six or eight weeks now. We finally took him and got him fixed. And um, <laughs> look at him. He's definitely a totally different dog. It took a couple weeks till afterwards, but now he just hangs out. He doesn't really wander off much and he kind of, he just hangs around. So we had a big problem with him wanting to run away and uh, go to the, search out the neighbor's properties and all that stuff. Um, couldn't get him to stick around too much. Wouldn't listen very well. So he's definitely improved now that we've got him fixed. So I just got done watering the animals in the barn in the barnyard. And it, you can still hear some thunder now and then. And you can see the dark clouds to the north over the top of the barn there. And there's, there's some dark clouds to the west. I think the sun's actually just gonna pop out between a couple of these clouds. It's gonna get sunny here for a second. But uh, I don't know if you can tell, on that side of the pond, there's dark clouds back there to the south. So we got little thunderstorms just popping up all the way around us and I don't think I don't think we're gonna get missed here pretty soon I think we're gonna get hit with some 
a little bit of rain so i think that's probably going to be it for today's video honestly um hot it's a very hot day and i'm tired of sweating so i think i'm going to go inside for a little bit and uh try to cool down and uh then i'm gonna cook steak steak tonight for supper so I'm gonna grill out a few steaks for me and rebecca and that's how we're gonna pretty much end our weekend so that's it for today guys so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one nice little steaks little petite steaks that'll be our supper two for rebecca and two for me All right, we're gonna set a timer for four minutes. And uh, we should be shooting for around 400 degrees. And then uh, we'll turn it over. All right, our timer's going off. So let's go ahead and we're gonna turn the steaks. Oh yeah, see they don't even look pink anymore on this side. Turn them over. These are little bitty steaks. Got a nice little sear on that side. First side looks good. So these are small steaks. Um, we'll go ahead and start another four minute timer, but um, these may need taken off in like three minutes. They may overcook. Well, since these are small steaks, I'm gonna take them out just a little bit early because I don't think it's gonna take these guys long to cook at all. They feel rather firm. I'm sure that they're actually probably a little overdone. <clears throat> Looks good. Sorry, Scout. You can't have a steak. So we'll probably just let these rest for about five minutes and then we'll let them, then we'll eat them. <clears throat> 